Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive IV Club. We're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're talking about how to disable resample and what it is and why you would want to. So, first off, I have a standard 30 second clip. I'm going to say yes, and this is 30 frames per second. And I said 30 second clip, but it's just 30 frames per second. And you can see that there's a fence post in part of it. Let's look at this fence post here. It looks like fluid motion, right? Because when I'm arrowing through frame by frame, there's a little bit of a lag, but when I'm arrowing through frame by frame, you can see every single frame has a new image. So what is resampling then, and how does it work? Well, what if I went to my project properties, and I changed this to 60 frames per second and applied it? So now, you can see that you can see an individual frame per every image, but there's a blurring effect that happens on these fence posts here. Why? What is that? Well, that is resampling because let's take that off and I'll show you why. So resampling is something that in Pro you can actually turn off for every single project in the project settings. I've not found a way to do that in Movie Studios, but in Movie Studios what you can do is turn it off on each individual clip. So you go to Properties and it gives you Smart Resample, Force Resample, or Disable Resample. I'm going to go to Disable Resample and hit OK. Now when you look, I'm having two frames per every individual frame. That's because there are 30 source frames per second, but it needs 60. And instead of creating a new one, which is what resampling was doing, it's now just showing the same frame twice. See? Frame, frame, click, 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 click. There's two frames per one because I'm trying to show you 30 frames per second within 60 frames per second. What resampling does is it takes frame information gaps and it creates a new frame based off looking at both frames together. So I keep going to project properties because that's what you do in Vegas Pro. But in Movie Studios you need to go to properties. This is for your individual video event. This this clip right here. And we if I add it back, you can see there's that blur, that extra motion blur there. Now you might want this, you might not. So I just want you to be informed about that it exists, and it exists by, it is on by default in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. So this is something you might want to take off. Now with this 30 frames per second footage, I mean, sorry, I have 60 frames per second timeline, and this timeline now is set perfectly for this 60 frames per second footage. When you watch this water drop, you can see there is an ice drop into water. And if you arrow through it, you can see an individual frame for every, there are 60 frames per second of video. And it doesn't have to make up any information. So an example of how resampling could be a problem, if you hit control and you time stretch it to 50%, now we're going to have the same issue we had earlier. We've just stretched the video out, so our frames, we are only going to have the video is 50% slower, so that means there's half the frames to work with, so we're only going to have 30 frames in a second. So we're going to have the frame duplication problem we just had. Except, wait, no, we don't. We can see a doubling of the ice cube because resampling is on. So let me turn it off to show you what I was going to talk about. Properties, disable resample. Now we can have the doubling effect I was talking about, where every frame is doubled. But if you resample it, now you could want this, but I think this one makes it look really bad. This particular one, the fence post one, you could say helped it, made it look better. But this one, look at that. You're like duplicating and half shadowing the ice cube. It creates like extra ice cubes, and it doesn't look very natural or good. So this would be an example of if I wanted this to be, now obviously uh, the for this video what you could do is you could uh, close the frame rate, right? And then it's one way to fix the issue. But if you disable resample, and then I slowed it down even more,
it still looks cleaner. Now, there's still going to be frame duplication problems and stuff because at 25% speed, it doesn't have enough frames for even the 30 frames per second, but it still gives a fluid slow motion that doesn't recreate, that doesn't resample and recreate pieces of the ice cube, even at this slower frame rate. So you can see that if you're having a duplication issues, like when you're moving your hands around, it seems like your hands duplicate, not just blur. Motion blur is normal. See this ice cube? That is normal captured in-camera motion blur. But if you're getting extra motion blur, like everything doesn't seem quite perfectly clear, it could be because your frame rate in your project is off, which you can go to your project settings, and you need to have the frame rate that matches your camera, matches what you shot with. And two, uh, let's say you have multiple frame rates involved in a project and stuff, you might need to go to properties and disable resampling, uh, especially if you're doing slow motion, unless, and then I uh, just caveat, if you are doing the slow motion effect, this this effect will add back those frames with an algorithm so it's a more super smart resampling version it'll recreate those frames super smartly i have a whole video about that so that is um disabling resampling why how you can do it how it works and why you probably want to so thank you so much like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more if you're new to editing please check out my new to editing tutorials plus my uh, udemy course i think you're really going to like it uh, anything you buy through my affiliates link below helps out this channel a ton thank you guys for all your support see you next time we got more on the way